Hey guys, and welcome to The Sims 3 Generations and Seasons, where people bring their kids to daycare and don't pick them up, and abandon them, and leave them at the house. Just leave them for dead. Um, which is the case with little Sylvia here, in case you're wondering. Um, her parents did not pick her up. It is while well, one in the morning, and um, yeah, she, her parents just like abandoned her. So, I'm not sure <laughs> exactly what to do in this situation, but hey, that's cool, right? I mean, maybe they'll have another sibling. Maybe we can add her to the household somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I really don't. It's kind of, it's actually very sad. Sylvia was abandoned. And it's really sad. Um, so... <laughs> There's that, just in case you guys were wondering why there's suddenly another child in the house. Um, yeah, it's Sylvia. Um, so I will see you guys in the morning and we are going to throw a pool party in this episode. So that's very exciting because it is leisure day. So that'll be really exciting. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the newest member of the household. Um, this is Sylvia Pickering, but, um, as you can see, her last name is now Logan. Um, <laughs> I know, this is so weird. Believe me, the weirdest things happen to this family, and this is by far the weirdest thing that has ever happened. Um, so basically, I didn't know how to fix it. Um, I didn't want to, like, I didn't know how to necessarily fix it so her parents would pick her up, so I just added her to the household. So... <laughs> So she is officially part of the Logan family. Yay. Four toddlers. Awesome. Um, so basically, I guess her parents just left her at the daycare, didn't pick her up. And I guess Caitlin and Matthew couldn't bear themselves to just leave it up to like leave her in foster care. So they just decided to adopt her. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh or else I'll cry. Um, no, I'm just, it's, it's really weird. Okay, this is the weirdest thing to ever happen to me while playing The Sims 3. Um, but I guess that makes it a little more interesting, I guess. I mean, the fact that this is, this family is so dysfunctional and odd and weird, I mean, <laughs> keeps you on your toes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that she is officially part of the family. So, um, yes, let's make her feel welcome. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is downpouring at the moment, but, but, I am going to throw a pool party anyway, okay? Because we want to throw a pool party, we're going to throw a pool party. Um, and we'll make it for 3 o'clock, <laughs> and we'll invite, oh my gosh, everybody's old, like, everybody, um, let's see. Where is that grub? There he is. Buck grub, which is Hannah's love interest. Uh, Morgana, Sam, um, Antoine, and Adam, Jacosta, um, Freddie Calloway, whoever that is. Um, all these strange people, I don't even know who they are. Random people. That's a lot of people. Um, I'm thinking <laughs> I should probably get rid of some of those. Those are that's a lot of people. Okay, yeah, that that's a lot of people. Uh, we don't even know half of these people. Um, that's um, yeah, that's still a lot of people. Um, <laughs> all right, um. That's good. That's good. All right. Party will start at three. Yay. Matthew now has the option to avoid breaking a sweat while exercising. Well, great. The party starting soon. Time to break out the grill and inflate those pool floats. Yay. All right. Um, I was just invited to a pool party. I was just invited to a party. You're, it's your party. Like, I don't understand. But uh, we will actually go ahead and get some pool floaties. Oh, probably nobody's going to even want to swim in the pool because it's like freaking hailing outside but that's okay look look Matthew's already getting the job he's all he's already on it he's already on it uh let's go ahead and go get some pool floaties if I can ever find them I think they're in the 
tool section. Um, I'm not sure. Yes, I think they are. Um, yes. Yep, yep. All right, let's get like a couple of these. We'll get uh, one of those and we'll get um, another one and a pink one <laughs> just to be safe. Um, <laughs> the worst pool party in the entire world. Um, but hopefully Buck will come. Hopefully he won't stand us up because I really do want her to have her first kiss. Her first kiss in the rain. It's actually very romantic. People say that being kissed in the rain is romantic. I don't know why. I don't know how that even started. The idea of being kissed in the rain is romantic. I don't know how that started. Was it the notebook? I don't know. I don't know. Life's questions. I'm telling this, yeah. The mysteries of life. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. I still can't believe that Sylvia is now a part of the family. I mean... That's pretty awesome. Uh, we probably should get her, like, a crib or something. She could just sh share the girls' room. I mean, she's just one of the girls. Uh, we'll go ahead and get her <laughs> a crib, too. I think that um, Tabitha and Charlotte actually grow up pretty soon. Probably in the next part, they'll have their birthdays. So we won't have to have to worry about that many toddlers. She's just sitting there reading all content, like so adorable. Alright, so people should be starting to come pretty soon. Whoa, god. Scary. Um. <laughs> yes, who is here? Oh, a mermaid. Emma, is that Emma Hatch? It is. The first guest has arrived. Hopefully she's not the only guest, because Buck needs to come to this party, or I will kick someone's butt. Why are they wearing Ugg boots? Like this is like the stripper boots thing all over again. Only it's the Ugg, it's Ugg boots. Like I don't, I don't get it. Why are you wearing Ugg boots while you go swimming? I don't know. Who is this and why? Who are you, dude? And you're crashing in your little yellow speedo. I did not invite you. I did not invite you. I didn't. I know I didn't. I swear to God, if Buck does not come, I am going to hunt him down. Oh, Margana's here. Margana's swimsuit doesn't even match, but she's so, like, freaking fabulous. She doesn't even have to. She doesn't even know how to use stairs. That's how badass she is. She, she doesn't even know how to use the stairs. Okay. She, she's, she's just gonna... <laughs> what the hell is... What are you doing? Did Buck come? I swear, I swear, if he didn't freaking come to the party. Oh, Buck, we are going to have some words. We are going to have words with each other. Um, but let's go ahead and, um, oh, they're going swimming. All right, let's go ahead and serve up some hamburgers. Hannah's like, I'm swimming with or without you, Buck. You can just stand me up. It's fine. It's whatever. It's cool. I mean, whatever. We went on a date when I watched you roller skate for 12 hours, but that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully she seriously does not get struck by lightning because that would be really unfortunate. Um, <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that a cat or something? Oh, they need to get an animal because of course they need to get an animal. I mean, they have eight people on their household now, but Oh, look, look, Antoine. Oh, remember when he was a toddler, you guys? Now he's holding one. Jeez, he's really hitting it off with Morgana. Antoine. Get some. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Just like holding Charlotte. Like, that is so sweet. Charlotte is like gorgeous, by the way. She is. He's like, all right, kid, teach yourself to walk now. Alrighty, um... <laughs> I can't. Oh, who's here? Paparazzi? Really? For who? Why is paparazzi here? Oh my gosh. Well, everybody's going swimming in the rain anyway, which is awesome. Um, well, this guy is. <laughs> the party crasher is, is swimming in the pool at the pool party. You know what, Hannah? No, you don't need to take this crap. You don't need to take this, Hannah. Go ahead and call that man. Uh, prank call him. No. We'll just invite him over. 
Invite him over and say, dude, you know what? I'm sick of you ditching me. I like, like what? If he says no, I swear. I swear. Sure, I'll come over. I swear to God, if you change your mind, if you change your mind, I will hunt you down. I don't know who you are, but I will find you. And I will kill you. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> so, is he cooking them burgers? He is. He is. Alright, let's go ahead and um, have some <laughs> call group to meal. I guess that's what you do. I don't really know. Um, apparently, she's on a group. I don't disband the group. What the heck? Molly French died. I cannot say this was the best outing, but it absolutely wasn't the worst. We should try again. Oh, was that him? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Call him, invite him over again. No. Oh, he's here. Okay, stop. Stop everything. <laughs> we need to compliment his appearance. Do it, girl. Don't be scared, Hannah. You can do this. Don't be scared. Don't get bludgeoned to death by hail. You can do this. Okay? You can do this. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You can do it. He's not scary, okay? He's not scary. At all. I mean, he's a little scary while he's eating that burger. I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay. It, it'll be alright. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see, what can we do, you guys? Let's go ahead, dare him to... What is divide by zero? I honestly have no idea what that even means. Um, let's go ahead and do a first kiss. In our kitchen. Because what's more romantic than having your mom watch you have your first kiss in the middle of your kitchen at a pool party that nobody swam at? She got the guts to do it. She got the guts. Aww. Oh, it's so sweet. Aww. Shy kiss. Hannah just had her first kiss. That The first hesitant meeting of trembling lips is a memory that surely will last a lifetime. Alright, everybody seems to be having a good time not swimming at the party. So, I mean, don't pee. You have so many other things you could be doing. Go ahead and, um, what can you do? You can't ask him out? Um, go ahead and flirt with him. I want her to, like, go steady with this guy. I do. He needs a bit of a fashion makeover, though. I'm not gonna lie. He looks a little weird. He needs different hair, too, because it looks, like, greasy. Like Charlotte learned to walk. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Thanks, Antoine. Thanks for that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hold his hands and give him an amorous hug. Go ahead. Don't be scared. Alrighty. And then, um, can we ask him? No? Go ahead and kiss him. I really want them to be like together. Like they have a full bar. And I just, I feel like this should be happening. Um, propose goes steady. She's like, can you please be my boyfriend and spend time with me and not just rollerblade around me and ditch me all the time? Yes. Yes. Give gift. It's not Christmas. It's not Christmas. She just entered into an exclusive relationship with Buck Grub. Yeehaw. He's like, damn, I saw you in your swimsuit and that's what that's what changed my mind. Be asked to watch the stars. <gasps> Buck, I... That deserves a round of applause. I am happy for you. I, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm happy that Buck took the step to grow a pair. Okay. That's, I'm, I'm very happy. The party kept getting better and turned out to be amazing. Caitlin is no longer, wait, Caitlin is no stranger to hosting parties. That's for sure. I gotta go. Bye. Need to go home now. Looks like it's time to leave. I've gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Have cheeks stroked. Oh my God. They are so cute. Oh, you guys, this is an epic moment, an epic moment. Oh my gosh, they just, they can't like keep their hands off each other now that they're exclusive. They're like the happiest, cutest little couple ever. Oh, <laughs> alrighty guys. So 
Um, we actually have quite a bit of time left, I think, for this part. So I think what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and skip to tomorrow. And we will have Alex is going to be a teenager. And we'll have the triplets grow up too. So that'll be exciting. So I'll see you guys uh, then. All right, guys. So fun story. I actually recorded this day like three times. This is the third time. But my game crashed. <laughs> so... I'm like super frustrated and super tired now because I should have been done recording like an hour ago, but my game crashed and yeah, I'm not happy about it. I am not happy. Sims 3, not happy right with you right now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get the birthday cakes for the triplets so they can age up. And Alex is probably going to go to school here pretty soon, so we'll um, have him age up when he gets back and we'll have him go and blow out Charlotte's candles. So Charlotte is having a birthday party. Come one and all. Um, Caitlin is feeling stir crazy. So I'm thinking that we will maybe go to the beach in the next part since we didn't get to do too much with the summer season uh, this time around. Um, Cause they had so many kids to take care of. Like I still can't believe that they <laughs> took in a stray, but um, so yeah, <laughs> they'll probably go somewhere in the next part. Um, it's crazy to think that the last time it was summer in this Let's Play, they didn't have any children, and now they have like six, technically. So it's crazy, it's very crazy. Alrighty, Alex, you're supposed to be going to school. So are you. Come on, Charlotte, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Hurry up, Charlotte. Oh, okay. Charlotte has developed the loves the cold trait. Charlotte is so normal. Like, she is, like, super normal compared to her brother and sister. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> her eyes look a little quick, right? But she is really pretty, you can tell. <laughs> they, they will all get, <laughs> they'll all get makeovers. Um... Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, have Tabitha blow out her candles next. Little Miss Tabitha. Alrighty. He's playing in the sand. He is such a child. He's such a little kid at heart. Like, really. <laughs> I don't even know, you guys. I don't even know. Alrighty, why are you scolding him? What is he doing? Why are you scolding him? Why don't you go to school? Dude. Dude, go to school. Meet some new friends. And you can work on your late homework. <laughs> Alright. Don't scold him. He's going to school, okay? He's going to school. And let's talk about his imaginary friend. Come on, Tabitha. Hurry up. Hurry up, Tabitha. Come on, I believe in you. Sylvia has just approved the peg box to level three. Sylvia, for being abandoned <laughs> at some strange person's house. Is she doing pretty well for herself? All right, so due to her difficult upbringing, <laughs> Tabitha has the inappropriate trait. Yay. Um, uh, what is up with your hair, girl? Tabitha. Girl, what is up with your hair? She's like, what is wrong with my hair? Do I have a left eye? I don't know. Okay. Um, so <laughs> she's like, oh, this hair is disgusting. All right, let's go ahead and just have, uh, who's the last one? <laughs> I forget his name. Bradley. That's his name. All right, stop cleaning, you freak. And go, really? You had to run the dishwasher. You had to do it. You have to do it. Get a part-time job. No. No, thanks. No, thanks. Um, can you not? I believe I told you to go blow out Bradley's candles. Oh, he's gonna do it. Alrighty then. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know why it doesn't just... Like, the sim that you select to take them to blow the candles. Why it doesn't just have them do it, but has somebody else do it. I don't know. It makes, that makes no sense. 
<laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, Charlotte looks so cute in her little outfit. Aw. Alright. Come on, Bradley. Last one. Oh, she just peed herself. Happy birthday! Alright. <laughs> Come on, Bradley. Alex Ma Maxine Durant? 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 I don't know. Okay, so he hates the outdoors. That's great. That's fantastic. And I, I was just going to say, I bet you he has a girl's haircut. Um, he knows. He likes it. He's like, uh-huh. That's right. That's right. I did it again. I did it again. Ta-da. Yeah. He totally has the same hairstyle as his sister. Um, so that's fantastic. So, yeah. You know. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, what do I even say anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but Sylvia doesn't age up for another three days, so she's a little bit younger than the other ones. Um, I guess. So, um, I will go ahead and, well, actually, he should be getting home pretty soon, so he'll be able to age up when he gets home. And he's just not going to work. He wants to have a child. He's freaking crazy. That's not happening. It's not. <laughs> It's not happening. She's embarrassed because she peed herself in front of all of her children. The Jocasta passed away. I knew about that because, like I said, I played it like 5,000 times. But, yeah, Jocasta did pass away, and it's really sad. Hannah improved her writing skill. And, okay, I can seriously not tell um, Bradley and Tabitha apart. Okay. <laughs> Bradley! Why are you... What are you doing, Bradley? You don't even need a shower. He's taking an evil shower, but he didn't even really need hygiene to begin with. He's so messed up. Like, what is wrong with that? Hannah improved her photography skill. Cool. Cool, cool. I, I don't understand the boys in this house. Like, I really don't. Guaranteed, Alex is going to have a girl hairstyle, too. How much you want to bet, you guys? How much you want to bet he has a totally, totally girly hairstyle? Alrighty. Um, well, there's so much birthday cake, I can't even keep track okay um one more over here and we'll have alex come blow out candles uh alex come on alex you're the last one pal and i guarantee you he'll look like a girl okay wait after school reward ceremony an award Ceremony is being held at the community school for the gifted. It's a great opportunity for Sims to get together and celebrate all of Hannah's extracurricular activities. Trophies will be handed out, so be sure to attend. So, attend ceremony at community school for the gifted. Yes, we will do that. And that has to be done by Saturday at 8. So, we will definitely do that. It's really cute. Oh, look at Tabitha. She's, like, all preppy. Tabitha. Tabitha's, like, a little bit preppy. Charlotte is like the girly girl, which I totally saw coming. Bradley is just a freak. Um, you guys, what is going on with the mop? <laughs> Wait, it has to be an imaginary. F okay, yes. Okay, okay. I I forgot about that they had them for a minute. I I forgot. Um, kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. All right, because of his success in school, you may choose a trait for Alex. Yay! Okay. Oh, look at that long hair. Um, but we are going to make him a bit rebellious. <coughs> if I can find it. Because I feel like he was really neglected this Let's Play. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Alex really didn't get the attention that he probably deserved. But he's really cute. He's really cute. Um, but I feel like he didn't really get the attention that he deserved in this LP. So I think he's going to start taking it out on people. He's going to start, like, pranking people and and being rebellious and stuff. So uh, that'll be interesting. So, yeah, everybody is aged up. And my game didn't crash this time. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and do their makeovers. And I'll get back to you guys. Hey, guys. So this is Charlotte's makeover. Um, I didn't do anything different with her outfit because I actually really liked it. I just changed the shoes. Um, and she's very girly, as you can see. Um, and I think she's just going to be, like, the really pretty popular girl. Um, 
And yeah, I uh, gave her the hair she had as a toddler, and it looks like amazing on her. And I gave her some makeup, actually, even though she's only a kid, I gave her a little bit of makeup, um, just because, I don't know, she's really pretty, and she's super girly, so yeah, I, I think she's really, really pretty, so I'm really happy with her. <laughs> this is Tabitha's makeover. Um, I pretty much just gave her a longer hairstyle. It's really cute. It's like pulled to the side a little bit. And um, yeah, I think it suits her, frames her face well. Um, <laughs> and she has this really bright, colorful um, shirt with a butterfly on it. And she has like pretty pants and these cute little shoes. And yeah, she's kind of uh, a little bit edgy and kind of tomboy and she is insane. So she's probably like never going to even wear her every day. She's probably going to wear like her swimsuit to school every day, but <laughs> I still think she looks cute anyway. So this is Bradley. He's super, super cute. Actually, he has like this super curly hair, big blue eyes. Um, and he is evil and he's going to be, uh, very much so a troublemaker uh, <laughs> in this Let's Play. But that doesn't mean that he can't be adorable just because he's evil. Um, so yeah, like I said, he's probably going to be rebellious and he might end up being sent to boarding school at some point since that did come with generations. So at some point, maybe when he's a teenager, maybe he'll be sent to boarding school. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. And last but not least is Alex. Um, so like I said, he is going to be like the rebellious one. Um, so yeah, he's a very casual dude. I love the beanie. I think it suits him and it's super cute on him. And, uh, he does have a little lip piercing there. And uh, yeah, I think he's really, really cute actually. Um, and yeah, he's basically, he's just going to like, I don't know. I think he, I'm just going to have him run around egging everybody's houses and doing all kinds of stuff like that. So it should be interesting. It should be fun. So <laughs> um, I'm actually going to end this part here. So if you like this part, go ahead and give it a like, comment. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.